Right now, we have, though, joining us, Father Brett Brannon. He joins us from Savannah, Georgia. Georgia. I was, gonna, I was afraid of saying Savannah. <laughs> Father, thanks so much for being with us. He's the author of uh, A Priest in the Family. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing great, thanks. Um, if you could maybe just tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, you're ordained since 1991 for the Diocese of Savannah and uh, maybe some of your various assignments. Well, I was ordained, uh, um, and when I was ordained, uh, I was made the vocation director pretty quickly, just a couple of years out of the hell. And I was the vocation director in Savannah for, um, for 10 years. And then um, right after, uh, I was a pastor for most of that time as well, at the same time. And then I was sent to Mount St. Mary's Seminary in Emmitsburg, Maryland, where I was the vice rector for six years. So most of my life as a priest has been directly involved in priestly formation. Uh, Father, uh, I want you to know that I was one of the very first people uh, out here in the masses to get my hands on a copy of your book, and, and I, I gave it to a family of a young man uh, who was thinking about going in the seminary, and I was thrilled to see that you wrote the book, because I know, because my bishop keeps telling me that vocations are everybody's business, and your book ex explicitly addresses family topics. What made you to decide to go in that direction? Well, I received a phone call about a year and a half ago from a the father of a priest down in Louisiana who had studied at Mount St. Mary's, the seminarian. And um, he had read uh, my first book, To Save a Thousand Souls, and he said that he, uh, which is how to discern a vocation to doctors and priests, for the man himself, and said that there were four or five men in his parish who were interested in the seminary very, very pro-vocation parish in Lafayette, Louisiana. And he said that um, he was, because his son was an ordained priest, they were all coming to him for counseling. And he said, Father, he said, I don't know the answer to the question that they're asking me. And he said, would you ever consider writing a book to help parents answer the many questions and concerns that they have? And so I began to discern and really felt the Holy Spirit was asking me to do that. And so uh, we wrote uh, this book, A Priest and a Family, to try to help parents give them more peace when their sons express anything. And uh, exploring that a little bit more, Father, um, if you could. Um, so a, a young man comes uh, to his family and says he's thinking about a vocation. What, 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 uh, what do you find are some of the misconceptions that family members might have for their son or um, for, you know, a brother or an uncle? Or, you know, I think most parents, they, they want their children to be happy, and I think the, our society gives this impression that priests are not happy, which is simply not true. The statistics are overwhelmingly the other direction. The huge majority, greater than 90%, all priests say they're extremely happy being fulfilled and that they would choose it again if they had to. But I think parents um, say priests because the priesthood is a radical life. It's not the usual vocation people are called to marry. And um, so they have a lot of questions and a lot of concerns. And sometimes they oppose their sons moving in the direction of seminary. And I knew of many guys in the seminary who told me that they delayed going to seminary for many years or delayed even mentioning it to their parents because they were so terrified of how their parents would react. You know, the book, uh, Father, offers some very practical tips for families of those who are considering going into formation, considering uh, ordination. Um, if you could name the one uh, greatest challenge uh, that young people and families of young people considering the priesthood face, what would that be? Well, I think the biggest uh, issue is simply lack of correct information. And I wrote the book so that parents would have all the, the most common questions answered with statistical evidence, you know, about how a man is called to become a priest. He, he's not signing his to become a priest the first day he goes to the seminary. That's continued discernment. And uh, it's a very, very uh, well-established priestly formation that we always say is the greatest education the Catholic 
first test offer, the formation we give our future priests, even if a man is not called to become a priest and he goes out of seminary after a year or two, he will get to be greater than man because of that education and formation. And I think what the book does is it gives parents enough information just to dialogue with their son about the different challenges of discernment as well as formation. And that was the objective. We thank you uh, so much, uh, Father, for being with us today. And uh, if people want to find out more about the book, where can they go? It's theanyvocations.com, www.theanyvocations.com. And there's you can order the book there and read about it. Excellent. Thanks so much, Father, for being with us today. You're welcome. God bless you. Oh, yeah, you thanks. too. Thanks. God bless you. Thanks.